Hi everyone, so today I'm going to look at an example which illustrates everything that I was talking about when we looked at basic integration. So we're going to have the problem of the integral of x cubed with respect to x and we're going to be integrating this over the limit minus 2 to 2. Now the graph of x cubed looks like this and over the limits between minus 2 and 2 it looks like that. Now the question would be find the area. So when we're talking about area, like I explained before, we're going to be looking at the bound between the limits of where the curve is. So it will be these two sections over here. Now, using basic laws of integration, we can split this integral up into two separate parts. So this integral between 2 and minus 2 of x cubed with respect to x actually becomes the integral of x cubed going from minus 2 and 0, plus x cubed going from 0 and 2. And it looks like this. So we have the integral going from minus 2 to 0 of x cubed dx. So that's that bit done. And now I'm going to add on this bit. So we have plus integral of 0 to 2 of x cubed with respect to x. Now the reason I split it up is to show you that sometimes you can get negative areas and sometimes the area can be positive. So, if we calculate what this is, integrating x cubed using your basic laws would be x to the power of 4 all over 4 in the limits of 0 and minus 2 and we add on the same integral, x to the power of 4 all over 4 but this time it's going from 0 to 2. So we have 2 here and then 0. Now, evaluating this, putting 0 in, we get 0, minus, minus 2 to the 4 is just 16, so we have 16 all over 4, and we add on, we put in 2 over here, we get 16 over 4, putting 0 into here, we get 0. Now this simplifies to minus 16 over 4 plus 16 over 4. Now, if you look closely, this actually becomes zero. But the question told us to find the area. Now, area cannot be negative. Whenever we have a negative area, we take it to be positive. So this bit over here becomes positive. So even though it's minus 16 over 4, we make it plus 16 over 4. And then we get plus another 16 over 4. This becomes 32 all over 4. And that simplifies down to 8. So the one thing you need to remember is whenever you have a negative area and it asks for the area, you make it positive.